Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name's A Thousand Colours and today we're going to be playing Umbiscard, which is a short little indie game that was made for the Pixel Horror Game Jam, I believe. I think it was the second annual one, so let's just jump right into it. Um, disclosure, I have already seen a full Let's Play of this. I'm just going to move my mic across. So, um, I wanted to play it on my channel because just look how nice, look how nice it is. Um, like the visuals are absolutely stunning. Uh, I thought that was the first thing that caught my attention. That's the first thing I noticed. As you can see, there's a little, uh, hobo boot, hobo blood, and that person wants one euro. But too bad. They got eaten instead. That's what you get for begging. So I just, I basically, we have to eat trash uh, to live because apparently we can't handle being hungry for five seconds, you know? America, America's problems. It, I would actually, <laughs> I would say that it's America if it didn't say one euro, please. You know, just can't be hungry for a whole five seconds, you know? Need to be painfully full 24-7. Okay, so quarantine area, authorised persons only. Uh, no, some, I can't read the rest. But I need to eat trash. <laughs> so bad. Actually, I... I I the let's player that I saw he didn't he didn't let the stomach go down to zero so I actually want to see what happens when we starve to death <laughs> but basically what we do we just follow the blood trail um, but in the meantime while I let myself starve I'm just going to talk about the atmosphere of this game um, like the lighting is done really well and the effects on the screen are done really well. The visuals, like, the whole entire thing. And, and it feels very claustrophobic. You're very, like, closed in, which I really like as well. Uh, especially if you're going, like, especially because they want to do the horror experience. Okay, so I just, I fade away. <laughs> That's creepy. And then you just fade away to nothing. And I guess that quits and that <laughs> starts again. Cool. All right. All right. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, all right. So I guess you just like start again from the very start. There's no save points. Like it's a, it's a really, really short game. This will just be a single video as I'm sure you can already see. So boot. I want to eat the trash. So, uh, not only can you see uh, this game, I don't, I don't know what I was about to say just then. I was basically, I was basically uh, trying to be like, hey, do you notice any difference? I any differences in general? Actually, because I just realised there's more than one. Oh. Zombie outbreak, leave this area. Can't crouch. Oh, okay. Um, ooh. Oh, it's just, I was like, what's that green thing? Yeah, uh, the, no, it's just trash, more trash. When I was watching the Let's Play, I already, ca I already uh, called the ending really early on. <laughs> Um, but I'll tell you at what point at the end, because I don't want to spoil it. Because if I tell you at what point I called the ending, um, you'll spoil it. I've probably already spoiled it, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. You've probably already guessed it. You probably guessed it at the same point that I did. Whoa, look at that moon. I've already seen it, so I'm not even going to pretend that it's the first time I've seen it. But it's still, it looks really nice. <laughs> I can't deny how nice it looks. 
And the sound design's really good as well. Just the uh, mm, zombies. Just that sort of like echoey ambience. I like that. But yeah, anyways, I got different headphones. They're Bluetooth, noise cancelling. It's actually more so... Is that a child I hear? <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm gonna, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't want to start again and then have to cut out a chunk of footage just because I was not paying attention. Uh, it's mostly like for travel and that. Even if I... Oh, okay. I just decided to get a bit laggy. It shouldn't though, I think it's just my my computer's running a bunch of different things. My computer's not high-end like it once was, but hopefully that will change soon. Alright, little girl. Oh boy, I'm not going to assume their gender. Okay. Little red riding hood of an undefined gender. Wait, what's this blue shit? I saw it before. Sorry about the lag. I think I've got like something else actually. I think I have like something else running on my computer. Oh fuck. Okay. There's, n there's no trash. I'm gonna have to start again. Oh, can I make it? No. <sighs> I'll see you guys in a moment. Oh, okay, just... Okay, I thought I had to start from the start. It is... It is... Um, even though I watched the Let's Play, it is very different playing it. Like, this music here sounds way cooler when I'm playing the game myself. Even though I'm talking over it. It just sounds way cooler in my own headphones without commentary. Okay, little child. <laughs> No need to be scared. Plot twist! Jeez. <laughs> it's so awful. Did you see this uh, little dismembered corpse. I ate real good. As you can tell, my my stomach meter doesn't go down. When you eat garbage, you have to eat garbo 24-7. But when you eat a little girl, or humans, I guess, um, you're fine for ages. I don't know how long. I don't know the lore of this universe. And oh, look, it's my friends. Yeah, I'm the leader now. I just ate. But I guess I walk at a really slow pace, so they're all ahead of me. But yeah, that's the plot twist. You were a zombie all along, and I'm sure most of you guessed that anyway. Um, basically, I called the ending as soon as I saw the first zombie poster thing. So this game, Max Parada, and they made it in 32 days, um, which I thought was really amazing that they made this game within like a month. Uh, just appropriate sound design, fantastic visuals, uh, and it's a very basic game as well. Uh, a, lo a lot of um, indie game devs can really kind of overshoot um well I found with maybe not a lot but with some indie game devs they can really overshoot I guess 
like what they can do. They overestimate what they can do. So they aim to do a project that is just way too big for them. Um, and they end up making something that's like stretched out a lot, but is of low quality rather than making a shorter experience that is of and a more basic experience that's of higher quality. Um, I think Umbuscard does a really, really uh, good job of that. It's very short, tight, basic experience, but it's very high quality is what I was trying to say. So I think they did a really good job on that. Uh, but yeah, so obviously this is my first time. Uh, obviously, like, this is the end of the game now. Um, so you know, feel free to click away if you only wanted to come here for the gameplay um, and you don't want to hear me briefly talk about my long channel hiatus. Um, There's a lot to talk about, but I'm just going to briefly... I'm going to briefly sum it up. I'm going to leave a more detailed explanation for a much longer video, a dedicated video. So I got uh, new headphones. Um, I can still use the Razer ones. The Ra I still have the Razer ones. They're fine and they're great. But I just figured I'll just use these ones because um, I use them like for study and like the bus and that. And they block out a lot of sound, which is great because I get overstimulated and it makes me really anxious and it makes me exhausted and blah, 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 blah. Um, and as well, you can tell maybe... Uh, I have an actual backdrop that 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 is real. There's real fabric right there. I really like it. But everything else is the same. Like the webcams the same, mics the same, fucking everything else is the same. But this little backdrop. Oh yeah, and I got new lighting as well, which is pretty nice. But like I like my little backdrop here. I don't think. I don't think I've done a very good job at the lighting, but I'm getting there and I guess I'll just learn as I go. Basically, I just wanted to do a quick little game. Obviously, my commentary isn't really going to be the best for when I start again because I'm just really out of it and really rusty. I want to continue doing this again. I've wanted to do a, continue it for ages and yeah, so... I decided for my first video I'd pick something simple and easy to do and something easy to edit just so I can teach myself again. Basically something really, really easy for me to do to get back into the swing of things. So, yes, look out for more videos. I'm not going to promise anything at the moment. I want to see how I go for the rest of the year. We'll see if I hit my personal goals. I'm not going to tell you what my personal goals are until or unless I actually get them and do them so yeah um but anyways i'll leave it at that uh so thank you guys for watching very much appreciate it i'm glad to be back however long that may be hopefully more on a permanent basis hopefully i don't disappear for another 12 months after this you know like i said can't guarantee anything but yeah anyways so uh thank you guys for watching again and good day good night and farewell